Hey guys, welcome to Top 10 Gaming. Over the last few days, we've taken a look at famous political leaders and the appearances they've made in video games. So, naturally, keeping up with this motif, we've turned our eyes towards the East, and one particular leader who has notoriously made many dramatic headlines this year and in the past. We're talking about Kim Jong un. Now, some of these entries on this list will leave you wondering why on earth these games exist. And most of these games are a satirical look at Kim Jong un and his regime in North Korea. So, get ready to laugh, get ready to be confused, and get ready to spend some quality time with the glorious leader in our top 10 video games with Kim Jong un list. In at number 10 is Stop Kim. An Android game marketed towards kids, the main objective in Stop Kim is to prevent a nuclear war. Get him started early. You need to disarm Kim's nuclear missiles as fast as you can before he can fire them. The best part though? The user reviews that give it one star are all clearly biased towards North Korea. One says, and I quote, Send all programmer and three generation family to happy fun labor camp. You know who else at camp? Sweaty uncircumcised hobo that need pleasuring. Sentenced to half ration toenail clipping salad and dog urine bra. Sorry, what? In our number 9 spot is Kim Jong Un Brawl. Ever wanted to know how the glorious leader would fare in a boxing match? Well, in this boxing game that is available online via crazygames.com, well, you get, you get to find out. In our number 8 spot is Kim Jong Boom. Described as a political satire in the form of an arcade time killer, this simple little game available on Steam allows you to bring the cold war between Donald Trump and Kim Jong Un to a head. Through a simple card matching game, that is. Up next, number seven is Kimulator, the Kim Jong Un Simulator. Sort of. Featuring all different levels of cringe, Kimulator is a game available on Steam and is filled with a bunch of live action video mixed with its first person shooter gameplay. Jesus is in it. There's a French Canadian and terrifying small creatures. But what I think I enjoy more is YouTuber Let's Bones' reaction when he plays the game. Anyway, Jesus helps you kill Kim Jong Un and it's all very all over the place. Okay, and we're done. Up next, number six is Kim Jong Un Run. Barack Obama zombies meeting Super Saiyan Kim Jong Un is what you get with this game. That's pretty much all you need to know. In our number five spot is Dear Leader. This game is a recent release for iOS and Android, a mobile game called Dear Leader. Here's how it's described on its page. The year was 2011, the rapture was coming, and the world despaired of the coming demonic apocalypse. Of all the places on earth, the demons chose to enter through North Korea. It's essentially a fighting game where you can play as Kim Jong Un, or a bunch of other characters, including a llama with a tree on its back. Up next, number four is Rocket Man vs. Barking Dog. Wonder what this one is about. A game developed for iOS devices, Rocket Man vs. Barking Dog is a pretty topical play on the little nicknames that the leader of North Korea and the US president have given each other. The game system description page felt the need to outline the political circumstances leading up to this back and forth name calling, and then gives us a simple description. The game is a short war between the US president and the North Korean president. Play the game, destroy the rockets, and protect the city from disaster. That city being the spitting image of NYC. And at number three, we have Civilization V. While the original game doesn't feature North Korea's supreme leader in it, luckily for us, Steam user King Chris20 created a mod in which he's added it to the mix, and it's pretty detailed. The mod includes Civilpedia entries, units, buildings, and the unique ability called Nuclear Bully, where your unit maintenance cost is reduced by 33%, uranium resources doubled, and the length of Golden Ages is reduced by 10%. And don't worry, if you you have the Korean DLC installed, this mod changes all references of it to South Korea. Also, Kim Jong Un is on a horse. Up next, number two is Homefront. Set in the near future, Homefront is an FPS game that tells of a dystopian USA being invaded by North Korea. So, long story short, the plot of this game starts with Kim Jong Il dying. His son then reunites North and South Korea, eventually gearing it up into an international superpower, all while it slowly decays the US's economy. Eventually, they cripple the states by dropping an EMP blast that wipes out the nation's electrical infrastructure and invade the country. You play as part of the American resistance. And finally, in our number one spot is Glorious Leader. Kim Jong Un riding unicorns and narwhals while combating invading American forces? Well, that's what you get with Glorious Leader, a game developed by Money Horse Games. It's a run and gun retro style, seven level game where you fight off waves of imperialists, fight ridiculous bosses, summon the ghost of Kim Jong Il in battle, and even hang out with Dennis Rodman. Satirical of the isolationist regime, the game's developer had to shut down its Kickstarter. They were hacked after the infamous Sony hack in 2015, forcing them to cancel the game altogether. Which means you can't actually play it. But hey, at least we have an awesome trailer to remember it by. All right, there we have it, friends. Any games that we should have put on our list? Any other leaders or famous individuals we should do a video on? Let us know in those comments below. And as always, if you dug this video, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Also, feel free to 
check out our most popular video playlist on our channel for some other great videos. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I've been Kelly Pally, and this has been Top 10 Gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one.